Andy. And I'm Jennifer. Today we're going to share a story with you from the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 24 to 30 and 36 to 43. It is the parable of the weeds among the wheat. Jesus then told them this story. The kingdom of heaven is like what happened when a farmer scattered good seed in a field. But while everyone was sleeping, an enemy came and scattered weed seeds in the field and then left. When the plants came up and began to ripen, the farmer's servants could see the weeds. The servants came and asked, Sir, didn't you scatter good seed in your field? Where did these weeds come from? An enemy did this, he replied. His servants then asked, Do you want us to go out and pull up the weeds? No, he answered. You might also pull up the wheat. Leave the weeds alone until harvest time. Then I'll tell my workers to gather the weeds and tie them up and burn them. But I'll have them store the wheat in my barn. After Jesus left the crowd and went inside, his disciples came to him and said, Explain to us the story about the weeds in the wheat field. Jesus answered, The one who scattered the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world, and the good seeds are the people who belong to the kingdom. The weed seeds are those who belong to the evil one, and the one who scattered them is the devil. The harvest is the end of time, and angels are the ones who bring in the harvest. Weeds are gathered and burned. That's how it will be at the end of time. The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will gather from his kingdom everyone who does wrong or causes others to sin. But everyone who has done right will shine like the sun in their Father's kingdom. If you have ears, pay attention. Here I have two plants. Some people might say that this plant is the better plant because it's bigger, it's green, and it has a colorful bowl. They might also say that this plant is the worst plant because it's smaller and it pokes you when you touch it. But you can't judge a plant by looking at it because they both have good things about them and they both have things that maybe aren't so great, just like people. You can't judge them by looking at them. You can't judge them by their cover because God made them who they are. They all have great things and they all have weeds, but that's okay because we all deserve God's grace and we all deserve a place in heaven. Now we're going to pray. Please assume an attitude of prayer with me. Dear awesome God, thank you so much for creating us as the beautiful people that we are. Thank you for giving us all of the great things about us. And thank you for our weeds too, because they help us learn about who we are and help us to become better and to grow just like these plants grow. Thank you for loving us no matter what, for giving us your grace no matter what, and for always being there for us. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching. Join us next week for another children's message. Bye! Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Our mission and ministry is possible because of the financial and prayer support of people like you. Check out the giving tab on our website for ways to donate. And for daily updates and videos, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. You can find the links to these in the description of this video. Thanks for supporting Pathways. We'll see you next time.